Monty. Yes, so we've been very lucky, haven't we? We've had a good run recently, but the weather pattern is about to change. Now, Port Maddock has been mentioned a lot recently for recording the highest temperature in the UK. It was the hot spot yesterday with 26 Celsius. One reason for that is down to the wind direction. Port Maddock often does well with a northeasterly wind and shelter from the mountains. But over the next few days, it will turn cooler everywhere. everywhere. Windy at midweek as southwesterly winds bring a drop of rain. This evening, fine for much of the country. Any isolated showers will fade away. Dry and fairly clear overnight. Another warm, muggy night, a little bit cooler in central areas. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow we have more fine weather. A few, we've got a camera in the way at the moment. I do apologise. Don't think that's happened before. Sorry about that. Uh, most places dry, but I wouldn't rule out one or two showers breaking out in mid and south Wales in the afternoon. A little bit cooler than today. Top temperatures 17 to 20 Celsius, 21 the high in Cardiff and the Vale of the Morgan. Any showers will fade away tomorrow evening, leaving a dry and partly cloudy night. And another mild night with temperatures holding up in double figures. Some sunshine on Wednesday, however cloud will increase. Most places dry by the odd light shower. The wind's picking up in the afternoon and that heralds a change. On Wednesday we start with a ridge of high pressure, but that will move away and then low pressure will move towards the north of Scotland pushing a cold front across the UK. And notice all the isobars, that means stronger winds. So windy on Wednesday night, especially in the northwest. There'll be some rain too, but probably not too much in the south and east. Thursday will start blustery and damp, but it will dry and brighten up. Some sunshine and feeling fresher. So a change on the way. Lucy. Derek, thank you very much indeed. And that is well today. We'll be back with the latest after the BBC News at 10. But for now, from all of us on the programme, thanks for your company and have a good evening.